Hello students, today we are starting chapter number 5. It is a very interesting chapter because it is a poem about palanquin bearers which is written by Sarojini Naidu. Now what is a palanquin? Look, palanquin. It is called palki also and in simple language we can call it doli in which the bride sits and goes to her husband's place. Okay, now let's start. Lightly, oh lightly, we bear her along. She sways like a flower in the wind of her song. She skims like a bird on the foam of a stream. She floats like a laugh from the lips of a dream. Gaily, oh gaily, we glide and we sing. We bear her along like a pearl on a stream. So there are some lines that are comparing the bride, comparing the bride with some of the things so look at this what the palanquin bearers are singing this song they are the palanquin bearers they are bearing the bride and they are singing this song what they are saying they are saying that we are bearing we are carrying the bride very lightly very lightly very smoothly though she is the lightweight there is no weight in her body she sways like a flower in the wind of her song sways means moving here and there she is compared to a flower which moves in the wind. When there is a windy day, the flower moves here and there. She is swaying like that in their songs. She skims like a bird on the form of a stream. Stream means a little river where a bird uh, like uh, floats on the surface of the water. She is floating like that bird in their songs. She floats like a laugh from the lips of a dream. When you are looking a dream, when you are seeing a dream in the night and there is a little bit smile on your face, she is compared with that smile. She is compared with that happiness. Now they are saying gaily or oh, gaily we glide and we sing. They are saying as we um, glide her, glide means move smoothly. They are saying as we move smoothly ahead, we used to sing. जैसे जैसे हम आगे बढ़ रहे हैं, we are singing. We bear her along like a pearl on a string. Now they have compared the bride with a pearl on a string. Pearl means moti. Just like a string is in the pearl. जैसे moti के अंदर धागा पिरोया हुआ होता है, she is just like that. With that softness, they are bearing the bride along through the road. Okay? Now the second para. Softly or softly we bear her along. She hangs like a star in the dew of her song. She springs like a beam on the brow of the tide. She falls like a tear from the eyes of a bride. Lightly or oh lightly we glide and we sing. We bear her along like a pearl on a stream. The line is same. They are saying that very softly we are bearing her. We are carrying the bride very softly. She hangs like a star in the dew of her song. They are comparing her with that star which is in the dew. Dew means oski boon which is just like a dew in their song. She springs like a beam on the brow of the tide. What they are saying? She springs like a beam. Beam means sunlight. They are comparing her like a ray, like a light, little light. Okay, that is coming from the sun. She falls like a tear from the eyes of a bride. What they are comparing her? They are comparing her with the tear from the eyes of a bride. Just like Dilhan ki aak se aasu gilta hai. She is as soft as that tear. Lightly or lightly we glide and we sing. They are saying so lightly we are carrying the bride and while carrying the bride we are singing our songs. Again they have compared her with the pearl on a string. She is as soft. She is as smooth as a pearl on a string. So that is why we are carrying her very softly. Now look at the explanation part. In the first stanza of the poem, the palanquin bearers are delighted that they are carrying a royal bride. She is a royal bride and that is the reason of palanquin bearers happiness that they are singing a cheerful song. Okay, to the royal bride they are carrying to her husband. As they walk they feel that she is as delicate as a flower who sways at their songs. As they walk in flocks, 
floats like a laughter in the dream they says that she is so soft just like a flower who sways in the wind like they are in the songs she floats like a laughter in the dream she glides smoothly as the fourth glides on the stream when it moves just like if you have kept a, an object on the stream on the water and it moves side slowly she is moving just like that her laughter reminds her of the new life she is to lead when she smiles that smile reminds her that you are now in a new life the second stanza tells us that the palanquin bearers are so careful that they carry her as if she were a pearl on a string they are carrying her very carefully very smoothly just like a pearl on a string jaise hi pearl agar dhaga hamare hath se chhut gaya to sare moti bikhar jayenge just like they are carrying her she is very precious to them she is compared to a star that sparkles and springs like a ray of light she is just like a star that shines like a ray of light she seems to fall like the tear of the, from the eyes of the bride she is as soft as the tear the palanquin bearers carry her as smoothly as possible so that she would not feel the journey strenuous she will not get tired wo se itna aaram se le jate hain that she will not get tired they carry her along as if she were a precious jewel waiting to be possessed by her husband they are carrying her just like a costly just like a precious jewelry that will be of her husband now the conclusion the poem is remarkable for its similes reference similes means the words that use that help us to compare something the words that help us to compare something with some objects when we compare something we use two words that is like or as she is like a flower she is as a pearl on a string so these two words are helping us to compare something with someone or two things are being compared so this comparison by these words are called similes reference and images as they portray the significance of the journey and the responsibility with which the palanquin bearers carry the lines of the board shows the responsibility that is on the shoulders of the palanquin bearers because they are carrying the royal bride on their shoulders she does not seem to be a burden to them as they gladly move and sings the songs they are not feeling any kind of burden the poet uses simple words to make the comparisons clear he has used very simple she has used very simple words to make the comparison clear the rhyme of the poem renders a musical quality as i have sung the song you will have felt a musical touch in that so that is appealing that is showing something is going on in that chapter so it was about the palanquin bearers i hope that you have enjoyed the chapter very well thank you and have a great day